today. Hong Kong still relies on land feeling to handle our municipal sort of waste. Land feeling in Hong Kong not only occupies a lot of land, frequently generates nuisances to nearby residents, as well as while well, emitting over 10% of the greenhouse gases in Hong Kong. Because of that, the government has well, uh, set up a target to phase out the use of land filling before 2035. In order to achieve that target, we need to build adequate capacity of waste to energy facilities. The first one, we call it I Part 1, is being constructed on an artificial island next to Sha Ku Chau. That I Part 1 will be completed in 2025. The first waste energy incinerator in Hong Kong can handle 3,000 tons of waste per day. We also use well, uh, that facility to generate electricity, which is sufficient to power over 10,000 households in Hong Kong. Using waste to energy facilities to handle waste also will help us to reduce well, those greenhouse gases emitting from landfilling. Therefore, it is a very important strategy for Hong Kong for reducing our waste to releasing well, uh, the land used up, being used up for, uh, by landfills to re remove the nuisances to the, res uh, to the residents as well as to reduce our greenhouse gas emission. Of course, IPAC 1 is not sufficient. Therefore, we have plans to build IPAC 2 and IPAC 3. With all these well incinerators, we will be able to stop landfilling in Hong Kong. I have mentioned that we have set a target to phase out all the landfills before 2035, which now we believe it is a bit too slow. And therefore, we are working on a new approach well, to build the waste to energy facilities, IPAC 2 and IPAC 3. In the past, we use well, what we call the public works program to build our infrastructure, which has a lot of steps and administrative procedures. We are now exploring using the PPP approach, that is the public-private partnership. And we hope that while well, uh, using this partnership approach, we can speed up the construction, and therefore we can phase out landfill in Hong Kong much earlier than 2035. That is our plan to handle our ways to generate energy as well as to reduce greenhouse gases.